Hello everyone, I just want to make a quick introduction of the Juno Tab 3. This is a 12 inch tablet, comes with Intel N100. It starts at 512 gigabyte SSD, it can go up to 2 terabytes, and it has uh, 12 gigabyte RAM. Um, just a quick view, I guess let me show you like this. You can see how the tablet stands like that. This can be removed and the keyboard. So here you can see some. Okay. And then let's start this guy. Okay. So right now I have refine uh Pre-install, which allows me to boot multiple OS's. Right now, I have uh, Mobian and Ubuntu, just uh, to show it uh, for this video. We're gonna start with Mobian. We boot to Flash. And here we go. Password one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, so let's launch the terminal really quick. I just want to show some info on the tablet. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna bring it here. There you go. Like I said, it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it has two, oh, this particular model has two terabytes. Uh, the max CPU megahertz goes to 3400, 3.4, right? And then a few other information over there. Closes. Let's go to the settings. You can see a little bit more here. Okay. And the rest of the information. Uh, it's, it's pretty smooth, as you can see. So it was running roughly 1.6 gig, uh, gigabytes of RAM, that's how much it's using to start. Uh, and you can cut down maybe the software here in the software center. We'll bring down slightly. So 1.5. Uh, but like I said, it's basically running at 11% just to start. Oops. Um, another thing is the rotation works. It works very, very well. You can turn it here like that. I guess my phone is not showing how fast it's turning by the fr due to the frame rate. But uh, let's open up here something. Um, also, the camera is supported. Um, let's do a quick test here. As you can see, he's looking at the back. All right, let me take this off. I don't know if you can continue to see that. Oh, this is my lamp. It's pretty quick. The front camera is also working. You want to get to see me. I don't know if it's good or not. There's also support for 
um, camera has support for all applications. So let's say you want to use it on the browser. Again, let's start with the back camera. There you go. And you can see my fingers here. If I turn this around, show the front camera. Um, another thing is, I don't know why I closed that, but it's good video support. It can go up to 4K. Um, let's put it here. Performance will increase when it's plugged in. Let me lower this. Let's get the stats. There we go. Currently is running at 720. Very smooth. Let's bring it up. 1080. Let's bring it up again. 1440. I don't know if you can see that, but it's only seven frames dropped out of 500 or 600 now. And then if we do 4K 2160. We get roughly, let's see here, so far one frame drop out of 500, um, two frames drop, three frames drop out of 800, and so on. Of course, if you watch something in 4K, you will use more battery life. Now, if it's plugged in, then you, you're gonna get even better performance out of this. Um, so currently I'm a 63% battery. Um, because we were watching the video, it dropped significantly now, but we're roughly at four hours, more or less five hours, and we're at 50% brightness. We can break this in more. This will increase the battery life. There we go. Now we're going up to six hours, almost seven. Um, so depending on the brightness and the videos you watch and, and how much you're using, um, you know, if you're using one application at a time and you're conservative with the brightness, you might get six to seven hours um, or, you know, if you're watching something 4K, then no, you're you're gonna get a lower than that. We can drop that to power save as well. That should give us a little bit more. But for the purpose of this video, let's put it on balance. Um, suspend is also working on all distros. You know, even that's Ubuntu or Mobian, Debian, whatever. We'll put it on suspend. We can see a small light here blinking. It means it's, it's gone into the suspend. If I press on it, if I touch it, it will not turn on. If I press the keyboard, it will not turn on. If I press the power, sorry, the volume keys, it will not turn on. Only when you press the power key, the power, bu uh, power button. That is done purposely, so if you if you have it in your bag uh, or something like that, then you're not constantly turning on your your tablet. Um, as you can see, it comes with a keyboard. You know, you can fold it a little bit. You can use it like that. Let me see if we can make it out more or flat. It's up to you. 
um, the tablet supports two modes um, desktop mode on Mobian which is right now because I have the tablet plugged in but if I unplug the tablet it's gonna turn this into tablet mode so everything is gonna be maximized See? And then you get the keyboard see that step hello you can turn this actually let's remove the back make it simple um, it's not too heavy it's good enough of course this is 12 inch so it's not as comfortable as having a 7 inch tablet or 8 inch tablet but you get a lot of real estate uh, display on this one so this is great so if you're watching something or so on <laughs> watch maybe let's write something here let's go to I don't know Wikipedia let's type Linux okay Um, so the tablet does not come with a stylus though we do have one from the previous model uh, that can be used or you can get a simple stylus button now the this will only mimic the mouse it is not it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity okay so for example Say this one, yeah. There you go. Oop. It's kind of hard when I'm using one hand. Of course, I had it running early today. I'm trying to film these at the same time. There we go. Anyways, there you go. You see it. Maybe if I put it down, I can I can use it better. But it does a good job. Um, so, like I said, um, from the beginning of the video, we saw this with Ubuntu as well. So let's boot into it really quick. I'll show you two more features here. So Refine is not touch friendly. You need a keyboard for this, okay? Um, this is something Refine needs to develop. Um, so we'll see if we can make it happen. So let's run into Ubuntu. Um, everything is supported on Ubuntu just like on Mobian. Uh, this is just so you can see what it looks like. You know. Again, if we go to system. Right now I'm using uh, Ubuntu 24.10 um, because I was just testing it. But it performs just as good as 24.04. Okay, all the information. Um, let's see, appearance. Let's see what backgrounds we got here. Power, we're still at six hours, 63%. Again, we can reduce this to power save, we can get a little bit more. Um, 
the keyboard, the virtual keyboard also does work. Okay, so if I do here, let's take these out, sorry. I think it might be still at the right there. You use the keyboard and press down. It's going to maybe Firefox. Rotate. The keyboard pops up. In my opinion, it's not as nice as the one on Fosh, but it's usable. It's really nice. Maybe if I turn it into dark mode. Let's see if maybe we can see the keyboard better. Yeah, there we go. Much better. There you go. This is a quick introduction of the Juno Tab 3. If you have any questions, please send us an email. You can call us, or we also have a chat. Um, so it's very easy to get in touch with us. Thank you.